Good morning, this is Angela with Dogwood Paper Arts. So good to have you with me today. And we are back with the junk mail or uh, junk packaging envelope. And I'm also using cheaper um, papers that just some that I would like to kind of get used up. They're um, thin and um, I love to use them in the vintage journals because they have such beautiful vintage images in them that um, I think they're, you know, really worth looking at for junk journal style books because they're so, um, like this, it's so vintage looking. It's just beautiful. So I cut this piece out and have it ready to glue on here. I'm still inking though, you know. It's the way it is, if you like to ink, and I do, I didn't used to, I didn't used to think I'm not going to ever do that. Now I ink all the time, as you know. <laughs> Just think that it adds to the, the vintage look of everything to have it inked and uh, you know I just like I just love the way it looks actually it's not just alike I love it got a little tear there from my um, X-Acto knife it's not a sharp one <laughs> I just didn't feel like looking all around for my, um, my box cutter. So anyway, here we are. We're going to put this on here somehow. We're going to kind of fit it on there because I cut it kind of close on that side. And we still want it to fit around this. So... Let's see what we can do. I don't know. Could be disaster number one waiting to happen. I need a piece of paper. Oh, what could I use? I guess I'll use a file folder. Why not? I shouldn't. I should use something I'm not using. Let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, I have this one that I've been cutting on. Let's take it. Let's use it. I don't know. Okay, let's get gluing. Let's get going. Oh, let's start this. Have it set for 45 minutes. I'm trying really hard not to keep you too long. Sorry about the noise. Glue stick hitting glass. Makes a wonderful noise, doesn't it? Man, my nephew was going to estate sales today. And he posted on Facebook, does anybody want to go estate sales with me? And I was like, man, I do, but he lives 45 minutes away, so it's not going to happen today. But I would sure love to. That would be so much fun. And it'd be fun to have somebody to go with. That's what I think. Okay, let's see about going to this side first. I don't know if I'm going to do this right, you guys. Well, that's pretty darn good. That's pretty good. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> I think I got it. Just a little white of the envelope showing there. It's not bad. So, 
Now, what to do with the front of this? Remember, we have to put a button closure on here somewhere. Now we can either just apply it or, let me get rid of that, get it out of my way. Or, I had this thought that perhaps I wanted to use this. I know it covers that, but if it rotates, and we'll put some pictures in there maybe. And put this up about there. See? Wouldn't that be nice? Maybe down just slightly. So right about there is where we want it. Just going to draw that circle in there. And let's fix this guy up so that we can make it look like something. Just going to set it down here on my mat. Can you see that okay? And do the inside of these. Nice thing about this is it wipes right up off the mat, off the glass. So I do love that about this glass mat. And it's easy to clean when you clean it. <laughs> So how is everybody today? I hope everybody's doing well. Looks like we're getting back some of our freedoms here in the United States. That's a good feeling. Um, very nice. We're kind of used to that here. We're not used to being bossed around by our government. Um, so it's, it's really nice to feel like we can breathe again, at least for me. Okay, so I want to put that on there. It needs something in the center. And it just so happens I might have a doily. Let's see. That one is just a little too big, so that will not work. Let's see what we have over here. There might be a small one in here. I would like to actually find a green one, but I don't think that's going to happen. I do have, and I probably do have, I think that's the same size as that other one, yeah. It sure is. Okay, I'm going to just set those over there with the rest of them. And now we have a new package to use. I'm going to throw that plastic away. These are 49 in market. These are from Wintertime Crafts on Etsy. I need to put those back in there. Um, let's see, what can we put in there, in that center? I kind of think, I keep thinking it needs to be something kind of green. I mean, it could be that, or it could be, or it could be that. Not this shape, of course. I'd have to cut a circle. Whee! What if we did a circle like this? That would be enough. That's perfect. Okay. I don't want to fuss too much over it. Sorry about the ink on my fingers. I get inky when I'm inking. And let's 
find that file folder. I need to find my book. My desk is a mess. I'm very frustrated with my cat today. He's just been tearing through here, tearing everything up. I get him out and then I accidentally leave the door open so it's my own fault. And then he comes back through and he starts chewing on everything again. You know, I don't want him to get some plastic caught in his throat or something. So I have to keep on him about it. Okay, so we are going to punch that hole through there. I do wish this one was more solid, but it is what it is. Okay, so we are going to put a Brad in this one. Brad's, where are you Brad? Here's Brad. Oh, let's see. Oh Brad, which one of you shall we use? Something kind of flat. Something kind of pretty. So let's glue this. We really don't need this brad on this um, piece on here because we're doing this. Um, because I, I changed things. <laughs> I changed it. Um, where is my, there it is, so let's put um, a couple of these together. So there, since I tried to punch the hole wrong. And this is barely art glue, very much like art glitter glue. Um, it has just a slight, very slight, more drying time. It ships in the winter. Um, it's still very expensive. So I'm still on the lookout for a little cheaper glue. But, you know, we have to do what we have to do. To make our books, you know. Okay. So about where is that center? Right about there, maybe? I don't think so. But we're... Nope, that was not center. Let's see if that's more of a center. Okay, so now we're going to glue this to the back of this um, piece of metal. And I'm going to use um, Fabri-Tac. Um, they do Fabri-Tac. Um, Beacon does make one of these, it looks just like it, that is a metal glue. I could have used maybe, um, um, oh, what do you call it? E6000 would work, probably. Probably, I don't know. Okay, let's see if that'll work. We don't want this to glue to this because we have to be able to wrap our string around it. So I'm just going to uh, try and get some of that extra out of there. And try and get that thing off of me. Okay. So we're going to 
apply that to there. Ooh, that's not going to work very well. Look at that. It does fit. Surprise, surprise. I'm surprised. Okay, so now under here we need to put um, another tab. Right here and glue over that so that this brad doesn't come loose and then that gives us something solid to glue onto our envelope. That just hopefully will hold the brad and will still allow it to move. Might have to use the E6000 on, or the, sorry, Fabri-Tac on that. Okay. Yeah. Doesn't like to glue down very well. I don't know why. Okay. Now. What we need to do next is fix this up. And I have found some little pictures here that I think we can use. And we're going to put them in here like this. So I want to cut off here and here, here and there. I'm going to cut off a little more than that but I just wanted to give myself kind of some guidelines. Of what I, where I wanted to cut it. Okay, and cut a little more off this side. Really, I can probably just cut straight down. Okay, so I'm going to glue them on there. Let's get this again. Kind of reminds me of when I would find old pictures and they would all be taped together on the back of something. When you'd open up the frame and, you know. The old, the old days. So there's our first picture. So let's go with, I don't know, let's go with her. We could put them both in this way. I guess they could be peeking out, couldn't they? Or should we just do her? Let's just do her. I feel kind of guilty cutting him out of the picture. So I missed a... Hope I didn't cut her too much. I'm going to go around the edge. this one. So let's glue it on. Boy, I am sh a little shaky today. Don't know why.
Oops. Cool. Love it. And then we have these two guys. These are Tim Holtz pictures, by the way. Just trying to use up my stuff. I want to get my room into a manageable shape so when my cat's in here, I don't have to constantly be on him about no, no, no. So I've been trying to think of what I could do for that. Oh, wrong side edge. Oh, wrong side again. Jeez. Um, but I think what I need to put in here are um, more like a cupboards instead of open uh, cases like I have. So the most stuff is behind a closed door. And it would help with the dog too because the dog is loves it in here because there's so much to do. This one here. This reminds me of a picture that I have of my dad and mom and her sister, my Aunt Teresa, Uncle Alex, Steve and Kathy, um, Martha, Mike, and Jobeth, and sometimes Jeff. But they're standing in front of an old car. Oh my goodness, I sure miss all of them. My Uncle Alex and Aunt Teresa and my mom and dad, of course. But it happens, doesn't it? We have them for a while. And then they have to go away. It's just, uh, some days are harder than others. It's hard to believe that they've been gone as long as they have. I don't know, you know, there's days, I think, with grief, I don't know how I, I made it. <laughs> One day to the next. You know. So, but... We survive, don't we? We just, we just keep surviving. Okay, now I have this one, and I think I could maybe cut him out, and I could maybe get him, and I could maybe get him, if I'm careful. Sorry about your hand. Sorry about your leg. I think it's going to be too small now. Yeah, see, that's a little too small. What could I do? What can I do? There's a lot we can do. You know, sometimes you see the old pictures and they're all chopped up really tiny. So let's chop it tiny. And we'll glue it on one of these. That'll go back there, just like that. So let's glue that down. I think with this craft 
cardstock is that it absorbs a lot of the liquid really fast and that's why it doesn't always glue down really quickly to the paper but I don't know you know I'm just guessing okay let's go around your edges here since you're such an ancient picture and then we're going to glue that one on there somewhere in the center should have rounded his little corners there huh so I really want to try my hand at making a full-on junk journal I probably talked about this yesterday but I just think that would be so cool okay we're going to put him there so Excuse me, my nose is running. Um, I'll cut him off right there. And he's going to go in here. I think he's too small to corner around, but let's try it. I'm not going to stick it in all the way. I'm just going to barely barely nip it off just a tiny bit oops that one was a little too much there we go that worked fine fine and dandy yeah nice always like trying something new Uh, probably don't want to let's put that one back there I think I'll leave the writing in the up position why not should have done that on the other one That's his legs, so that won't work. <laughs> that would be goofy of me to put his legs in there. I must have already went around that. Yeah. Oh, cool. I like this. I like how this is going. Okay, now this guy, he is still going to fit. So we're going to cut it off over here. Gonna cut it right down there. I'm gonna cut a little bit off the top, a little more. Oh, did I cut him too small? I hope not. <laughs> I hope he just fits. You can better look, go a little closer to that edge. Now, if you wanted, you could put um, the acetate behind there. Boy, that is just there. <laughs> just there on the edge. Two more. We need two more pictures. My goodness. Let's see. Let me get rid of all this excess. Okay. So that leaves me... Oh, I know. Over here, we had a picture of some babies. 
So we'll take this guy out. And I'll look at this direction. And then across here. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. He does not look very happy, you guys. Or she. One more. And I think I have one more over here. I'm going to put that in my use it some more bin. I think I can get them both in there, just the one. I'm going to cut right between them and cut around that baby's arm. I might have to put her in her own little frame. There we go. Oh, cute. Isn't that cute? How fun. It's fun to do this stuff. I know it takes time and perhaps I'll just fast forward this part so that you don't have to watch the whole shamoli. So let's save the baby. I'm going to put him in my drawer with pictures in it so I remember that I have a little baby that I can use. So here it is. Let's bring it down to see it. Much easier that way because of where my camera is at and where my light is. Because my light comes right to here below the camera. It's really nice. It's like 30, uh, uh, maybe 28 inches long on each side here. And um, it really makes it super nice for crafting. Okay. So now we're ready to put this right here. And hopefully it will turn. I don't think it will actually. Once I glue it down, it won't turn. Oops. I'd have to put a another mechanism under there. And I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to line these guys up. I do want this guy this way. Yep, so it's going to go right about there. Okay. So I guess we'll just glue it down. Or do we want the string under it? We want the string under there. Okay. Around we go. Should have made it like the little game twirler in the life game. Made it so it could twirl around. There we go. What did I do with my rag? It's on the floor, of course. Okay. 
Now, what kind of string are we going to use on it? Um, do we want this? I think we do, just because of its old look. And I'm going to tie this under here and go up this way because that will hold this up a little bit off of the page. And we'll make it so that it's easy to get wrap the string under it. Lefty loosey righty tidy. Okay. That's a, a screw I know. <laughs> Okay. Oh, duh. Lounge. You have to do something with this one. Hmm. That might not be going to work, you guys. That might be going to come off of there. Now, I'm going to bring it down here so that we can hang a charm on it. I hope that's not going to come out. No, I think it's going to be okay. Please be okay. So there is our wonderful accordion pocket. And this mechanism helps hold this whole piece down. Isn't that fun? So that brings us to here, and we have a little pocket here on this one. We haven't glued it down yet because we need to slip paper into it. And then we have this piece. So, what to do, what to do? Just drop my towel again. Jeez, Ange. Um, I think we'll use some of this. And oh dear, put those pictures back, get them out of the way. Put the tape there, put some of these tools up. And let me put away my X Acto knife. I'm dangerous around those things. What I'm looking for is my tearing ruler. And I don't know what I did with it. There's my regular ruler. Good heavens. What would an Angela do with a tearing ruler? Let me get rid of that. I don't know what I did with it. Oh dear. Do you see it? I don't see it. I don't know what I did with my tearing ruler. Oh, <laughs> put it up there. that one badly so because I had it upside down off right up here. There we go. And add that here. 
And we'll bring it to the top. We don't have to have it come all the way to the bottom here. We can always put washi tape along this top to cover up this um, packaging. This packaging came from 49 and Market. That's what all of these little bits and pieces were in. Okay, so there's that. Let's come back to this. Maybe we'll put this one in here. I love this paper, you guys. Absolutely. Absolutely. I do, I do, I do. I'm going to go this way with it because I'm going to cover that side. How pretty is that? Very pretty. And I do still have some more of this sewed paper that we could put on there. I feel like it needs to have a jaggedy edge though. And which side do we want? Maybe this one with the... Well, sewing's better on this side. But you get a flower on this side. We'll go there with that. This is going to flap, so we need a little piece of washi tape there, don't we? Yep, I do love this sewing. I'm going to have to do some more of this. Um, We can always put something on there. Okay. So, what do we want? We haven't used this one yet on here, I don't think. Of course, we may never find the beginning. Aha! Uh -huh. right there. So it's going to be there to there. Pull that one off of there. And I'm going to go just down along here. Just to kind of hold it. Killed it off. So let's start up here. Or maybe not. Let's start down here. There we go. Nice. 
I love this washi tape. It's a fabric washi tape. It's a Tim Holtz. Very nice. Works great. Okay, this side or that side? Nice thing about this side is there's a flower there. Looks like the words are upside down. But now it looks like the plant's upside down. Yeah, we're just going to go with this side. I can tell what just front and back and up and down on that one. Probably should have used um, Fabri-Tac on this one because it's so heavy. And it has all this thread in it. So we'll just kind of have to see what it does. Whoops. And this is slick. Now well, we've got just a couple of minutes left. So hopefully we'll get this page finished. Oh goodness, we need something in there, don't we? Good heavens, Ange. Oh, well, not if we bring this up. Because, see, this is going to go like this anyway. So let's do it that way. We're going to go this way. Perfect. Do you want to get those little points and stuff? that up up there. Oh, there's our timer. Okay, let's get this glued down. There we go. And that is what that is going to look like for now. We still need to put a cover on here, so I'll do that off camera. And perhaps I'll finish um, this envelope up and stuff. And then um, when I come back to you, maybe this side will be completely done. But the major thing I wanted to get to today was this. So I'm happy with that. There we go. And so that is what we have today. So thank you very much for joining me. And I sure hope you each have a great day. And I um, want to thank you for subscribing to my channel. I sure appreciate it. And have a wonderful day. Bye.